In this video, we're going to be talking about whether or not you can combine SMP and FUE. But before we get started, if you guys are interested in having a hair transplant or you want to research a surgeon, I'm going to go ahead and link the Hair Restoration Network discussion forum in the description box, guys. I keep saying this and I won't stop saying it. I really think this is the best forum to really research a surgeon because it's the most transparent forum that is also post good reviews and bad reviews. Most forums unfortunately censor patients um, and I'll be making a video on that later, but let's get into the video. So I'm gonna let you guys in on a little secret. I am actually considering SMP. So I put up the bat signal and started reaching out to different surgeons and Dr. Glenn Charles of Florida happened to answer my question. Um, he also sent me a couple of examples of his work, which I'm also going to be showing you guys as well. Um, I may actually go out there and pay him a visit. Um, I'm still mulling over my decision. Uh, you know, I still have a couple of more questions and, and, you know, things to go over before I actually decide on having the procedure. But once I do, be sure that I will be documenting everything on YouTube and on the forum, so be sure to subscribe. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what Dr. Charles had to say. Just got back from Bangkok a short time ago, and this is uh, the location of this year's International Hair Restoration Society's uh, hair meeting, uh, the World Congress. And uh, I have to say, this year there was more talk about SMP uh, than in any prior year. I'd say almost a third of all the discussions were somehow related to SMP, which stands for scalp micropigmentation. Uh, one of the questions uh, we often get asked is, "Can you know, what is it used for? How can it help me? Can it be done in combinations with hair transplants? And uh, the answer is yes to all of them. Uh, it can help people, most people, and it can be used in combinations with hair transplants. Originally, scalp micropigmentation was brought into play to try and darken up some of the, the whiteness of a scar to try and help camouflage a scar and allow people to wear a little shorter hairstyles without seeing a linear scar. Uh, later, we started uh, using it on the top of the scalp uh, in between hairs to make it look like more hair, especially for those types of patients who really don't have enough donor to achieve the desired density they're looking for. Uh, so it's often used uh, in combination with either a FUT or an FUE hair transplant. Um, the inks that are used are very specific. Uh, nowadays, the uh, inks used are uh, different than body tattoo ink. So if you're considering SMP, you want to make sure you go to a scalp micropigmentation specialist because the inks are different. However, all inks do fade. And even after the required number of treatments initially needed to acquire your results, uh, every few years you probably need to touch up because just with aging, sun exposure, sweating, and your body's internal mechanisms trying to break down the ink, you will, you will get some degree of fading. Well, there you guys have it. I hope you guys found this video informative. And if you guys liked the video, I would really appreciate it if you guys would go ahead and give me a like. And if you guys like the content that I put on this channel, and if you have any questions, please feel free to post them in the comments section and feel free to subscribe. I would really appreciate that. And if you think anybody would benefit from this video, go ahead and share with them. All right, until next time.